Hi class, my name is Will, and I'll be joining you this term in marriage and family class. I'm excited to be working with all of you, and I hope we all have a successful and fun term. I'll be going through the questions from the discussion and answering them here uh, through the video. So the first question is, what constitutes a family, and what criteria do you think is necessary to comp uh, comprise a family? Well, uh, through the reading, um, I determined that the family can be compromised are comprised of a single uh, parent, single uh, parent child, a parent child, a marriage, adoption, or any ancestry connection. However, um, does this criteria always cover what a family is? Not necessarily. Is there other combinations that can constitute a family? Um, I believe sports teams. We hear this con uh, a lot when we hear interviews that they're always talking about a family, a uh, close group of friends. Many of us would consider a lot of our close friends part of our family, or even um, organized crime mafias refer to their organizations as families. I believe any strong connection built on love between people uh, can be enough to comprise a family. Uh, what was my personal childhood family like? Um, personally, I had a uh, my family consisted of my father, uh, my mother, uh, two sisters, and a large extended family of aunts, uncles, um, grandparents, uh, cousins. Um, luckily enough, we were all able to live in the same area, which meant we got to see each other a lot um, and create a strong family bond uh, between all of us. Um, we had a very uh, close relationship growing up um, between not only my um, immediate family, but my extended family, uh, which created my own desire to have a close family of my own in the future. Uh, currently, I'm not married, do not have any children. I remain very close to my parents and sisters. Um, we all live relatively close to each other, uh, usually within an hour and a half to two hour drive. Um, however, uh, due to parents changing jobs, uh, we did end up moving, which uh, no longer keeps us uh, close location-wise to our extended family, um, obviously since we've all moved away. However, we're still uh, close, talked on the phone, uh, FaceTime and uh, keep in touch quite often. Uh, do I think of pets as family members? I personally uh, have my dog head on here. If you can see. Uh, I personally do think as pets as family members. Um, I currently have four dogs and I've always had dogs throughout my childhood. Um, they stay inside the house with us. Um, they show affection. We show affection to them. Um, like a family member, we're all incredibly sad when they die. Uh, we mourn their loss and um, takes a little bit of time to, to move on from that. Um, I love them and I treat them as if they were uh, my children uh, or any type of close family, brother, sister, anything like that. Um, I cannot personally understand how people just see them as possessions and not as a part of the family. And what role does family play in your life? Like I had mentioned on earlier, family is very important to me. Um, and I kind of, growing up in a close family, created the need for me and want uh, to have a close family of my own in the future. Um, again, they're constantly involved in my life. Uh, the biggest thing I, I have found, they act as a great support system. Um, they're always willing to help me in any way, whether that's over the phone, in person, uh, through text messaging anything like that. Uh, they're always open to lending an ear um, or coming over and helping if, if uh, they're close enough, whether it again be my parents, sisters, uh, aunts, uncles, grandparents, uh, cousins, or even close friends like I've mentioned before. Um, now can the definition of family be sometimes controversial? Um, yes, I do think so. Uh, in today's day and age, um, I do. The definition can be controversial because there are so many different family types uh, that we see nowadays that it doesn't cover all of the nuclear family um, kind of options. It looks more like, again, like a post postmodern family or the modern family here, contemporary family. Um, they're not just all standard married couples um, with a child or a couple children with the you know a white picket fence um, standard type of lifestyle. Um, there are many other types of, uh, of marriages now, whether it's um, marriages of different sex, uh, marriages of different races, marriages um, 
or, or relationships without marriage, uh, relationships without children, lots of different ones um, that are all ex generally accepted and uh, appreciated now in society. Um, but again, they're not all uh, combinations uh, that are just like the nuclear family. Um, and uh, like we talked about, there are groups that uh, can, can have ties that feel like love uh, and a connection. Uh, almost to the sense like a family does. Uh, I mentioned before, these can be close friends, these can be uh, very close uh, uh, sports teams or clubs, possibly in, through school or, or through friends, um, that you build this, these connections with people and you, you feel a strong love uh, for them and they almost feel like family members. Um, so that is my uh, discussion post this week for the uh, marriage and family class. I hope to get some to responses and we can discuss uh, some of my answers and I hope to uh, see some of yours and discuss as well. Have a good day everybody.